Hey everybody, it's Stephanie from Nanny Tees and I wanted to share three reasons why you should leave a nanny job or three reasons why it's time to leave your nanny job, okay? I know there are a thousand reasons, but here, here are just a few that I think are really, really important. The first one is you are not being respected as a nanny. We understand that our field is completely different. It doesn't look like anybody else's field. It doesn't look like a teacher, daycare. It's because our office is a private home. Our office is a playroom, sometimes a playground, sometimes rides around the city, going to different activities, doctor's appointments. You know, we have offices all over the world. And so it's not a career that everybody understands, but we know that the job of a nanny is a real job. If you leave your home every day and you go and you uh, clock in and you're getting paid real money, it is a real job. And because of that, you know, I think that some parents may not understand that that is, even though they're paying you, it doesn't mean that you can be disrespected because you are a professional. You know, you have experience, you've taken classes, you have the certifications and, you know, you're raising their children. And so you must be respected. So if they're always coming home late without explanation, you know, life happens, you know, people are in traffic and they need to make a quick stop on the way home from work. That's fine. But if it's, consistently running home late and they don't have any um, respect for your time, then you may want to think about that. If they are not giving you a raise, let their bosses tell them they're not going to get a raise for two, three years. I guarantee they're going to look for another job. And so that's a valid reason to me. You know, the longer you're at a place, the more you should be paid. You're not getting paid time and a half. You're not getting your vacation paid time. Off. I'm telling you guys, that all that stuff is important and you should be treated as such. You know, if they're speaking to you disrespectfully, if they're not taking any of your suggestions, you know, even though they're not your children, you know, they're still your children because, I mean, you're raising them and you're teaching them and you're helping to, them to cultivate and to develop and to develop. So I think people don't understand what we do. But at the same time, we must be respected. You know, I always say, if you don't give me a raise, I'm going to raise up out. It, that just what it, that's what it is. It does not matter how much I love the family, and that's the the hard thing. You you get that bond and you build that tie with them. At the same time, you know what you pay me and how you treat me financially and how you treat me um, as an employee and as a caregiver makes a difference. And so, I'm, if I'm feeling disrespected, I'm out. Love you, love you. Um, and that goes back into knowing who you are and valuing who you are. You have to know that you are an expert and that you know what you're doing. So, and you should be confident in that. And if you are confident in that, then I guarantee families will respect you. Now, we can't we can't control the people who just have no respect for anyone. You know, those on our families, okay? Um, so, think about that. Think about that and uh, just consider... If you're really being valued for who you are as a caregiver, as a nanny, as a life changer, you know, we're out here changing lives and diapers. Okay. So that's what we do. The second reason why it's okay to leave a nanny job is simply because of burnout. You know, that kind of goes back to the whole respect and value thing. If you are overworking and even if you're getting paid well, if you're constantly tired, if you are missing out on your life, if you rearrange your whole life for a job and you're tired, that's nanny burnout. You know, you're not taking vacations, getting a break and all that. I I remember a year or two, I remember this one year, I cut my finger, had to take off work. Like you, you never know how much you need to use your thumb during the day. Cut it almost all the way off, had to get stitches, took off work a few days. Um, I remember getting a... A pinched nerve in my lower back. It was just terrible. I couldn't walk. Um, I had a breakout on my body. It just happened out the blue. I kept getting bronchitis and I knew that my body was telling me that I was tired. And it's because I was working so much, love the family, but was working so much that I neglected myself. You know, always eating out, eating out breakfast, lunch, dinner. I had to get a housekeeper. Listen, I felt like I needed a nanny <laughs> and I don't even have children. I needed a nanny for me. Somebody come nanny me. And it just got to the point, I, I had to tell the moms like, hey, I'm exhausted. You know, I come home at the end of the week and just crash because I'm so tired. Sometimes 
the, the exhaustion isn't so much the hours, it's the weight that we carry as nannies. People don't talk about that. We carry so much weight, not just for the children, but for the parents. You know, going through those divorces, people lose family members, people move. We take on a lot of those burdens and it's, and it's really tough to separate it because we're there and we're in the midst of it. Of course, we pray for them, we love them, but you still feel that. And so carrying the weight of a family can cause burnout. So really think about what's best for you. Are you missing out on life? Are you canceling your plans just to go work a few extra hours? That's not fun. That's not living. So, you know, I love self-care. Practice self-care and practice saying no. It's okay to say no. And I say if a family fires you just because you speak up, that wasn't the family for you anyway. Okay? So we're not afraid. We love ourselves as nannies. We love our family so much because it's not all about us. No, no, no. We serve, we give, we love, we protect, we care, but we can't do that if we're not healthy and whole. Okay, so that's number two. Take care of yourself because burnout is not a good thing. The third and final thing is a lot of people don't talk about this. Maybe your time, you're ready to do something else and your time is up. It's okay to say, hey, you know what? I've had a good 10, 15 years as a nanny. I'm ready to change careers. That's fine. There are a lot of people, you know, they just nanny their way through college and that's fine. Are they nanny while they're in between jobs for a couple of years? Or they just want to try it out? Or they've nanny for 15, 20 years and they say, hey, I want to go teach swim lessons you know i've had my good ride and that's fine but it's okay to want to do something else you know don't be ashamed if you're ready to get out the nanny nanny career you know for me you know i'm a freelance nanny and i do more business and so um that's just what i do and it works for me right now so don't be afraid to be honest with yourself because you never want to stay in a season longer than you're called to be there oh that was a word you don't ever want to stay. And that's the same thing with the family. You don't ever want to stay with the family longer than you're supposed to. Know when your time is up and be okay with that. It's so tough because we're so connected and we, you know, we're their other parents. We are their caregivers. We're their everything along with their mom and dad. And it's tough to make that decision, but it's harder to stay stuck. So I love you guys so much. And if you know of any other reasons, there are thousands of reasons. Share below and let's chat about it. So those are three reasons why it's time or maybe time to leave a nanny job. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.